welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make tons of healthy lifestyle videos, healthy recipes, all of the things here on my channel. So if you're new here, welcome. It is officially Christmas season and I am so, so excited to officially be entering the magical holiday season with you guys because whenever we enter the holidays, it also means that we are entering magical holiday recipes. And this one is one that I've been actually thinking about making for a few years now, but I couldn't find the right caramel. And I feel like I officially found it and it's time to bring it to you guys. We are officially making a salted caramel hot chocolate fueling hack just in time for Christmas. And I gotta tell you, you guys, I think I've nailed this one and I think you need to try it ASAP because this is gonna put you right in the spirit for Christmas season. So I've said it on my channel before, I do like me a good peppermint hot chocolate, but I'm more of a salted caramel hot chocolate kind of girl. If it's gonna be something flavored chocolate, I'd prefer the salted caramel kind of vibe. And that's what we're gonna be making today. We are going to be revamping our Optavia velvety hot chocolate fueling into a delicious salted caramel hot chocolate fueling hack. Now, really quick for anybody who is brand new here and has no idea what I'm talking about. Hey, hello, how are you? My name is Ashley, hang out for a little bit. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia five in one plan. I have since transitioned more fitness into my day, but any and all of the recipes, content, things that you're gonna find here on my channel can be applied to any Optavia plan you're currently following or looking into. If you have no idea what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. The basics of the introductory five and one plan is you're gonna be consuming five fuelings a day that come to you in your monthly Optavia box, and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments, and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. All right guys, so we are in the festive spirit. I've got my festive crew neck on. We've got our decor up. It is time to cozy up with a good hot chocolate just in time for Christmas season and perfect for your Optavia plan. I'm so excited to share with you guys this fueling hack today, so let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need. Number one, if it wasn't already obvious, we are gonna be utilizing our Optavia velvety hot chocolate mix today. This is delicious on its own, and I actually love to have it all throughout the year, whether it's the winter season or not. But if you wanna add a little something extra special just on the night that you're decorating the tree or whatever it is, this salted caramel is the way to go. But first off, we're gonna be using our base as our Optavia velvety hot chocolate fueling. Next up, we need a little bit of hot water. You can use your desired amount based on what you prefer, but generally about eight ounces of hot water to mix into our hot chocolate. And now for the fun stuff. So here's where our salted caramel comes in. Number one, can I introduce you to the new and improved version of Jordan's skinny syrups? This version of the skinny syrups is a dream. And I'm pretty sure I saw it come out like a year ago, but I was like, eh, I don't know if it's gonna be the right consistency. I am a consistency girl. And I'll tell you what, when I look for sugar-free caramel, I'm looking for the consistency of caramel of like Starbucks caramel drizzle, okay? Boom. This is the way to go. And I am so glad I finally bit the bullet and I placed my order because I was like, I need to try this out. This is what you need for this fueling hack. Let me just tell you right now. This is the consistency thickness of the Starbucks caramel drizzle, sugar-free, okay? So we're gonna be using our Jordan Skinny Syrup salted caramel sauce today. And we're only gonna be using one tablespoon of this. So we're gonna be using a half a tablespoon in our actual hot chocolate and then another half a tablespoon drizzled right over the top of our whipped cream. Now you can use up to two tablespoons to count as one full condiment for your day. However, I personally feel like one tablespoon is enough. It's enough sweetness for me in this drink. But if you wanna do two full tablespoons, that would count as one condiment. Because we're only gonna be using one tablespoon in full today, it's gonna count as a half a condiment for our day. And it would not be a cozy Christmas hot chocolate without a little bit of whipped cream. And I'm telling you guys, these flavored whipped creams that come out during the holiday season make my life every year. And this year we're using, of course, salted caramel whipped cream. We're gonna be using about two tablespoons of this for one condiment right over the top of our velvety hot chocolate so that we can cuddle up next to the fire and get a little bit of that hot chocolate with a little bit of whip on top. Now, just a couple things that are technically optional, but honestly, I think they are mandatory for this fueling hack. I would highly recommend utilizing a hand mixer for your hot chocolate. There's a reason why whenever you use a spoon, it gets a little clumpy at the bottom. Your hand mixer is the way to go. I use the Zalai hand mixer just off of Amazon, but there's tons of hand mixers out there these days. This is going to make sure that all of our fueling powder combines perfectly
perfectly with our hot water. And then last but not least, it would not be a Christmas fueling hack without a Christmas mug. And I am so in love with this one, you guys. I found this one at Target. It's freaking adorable. This is in the Magnolia section and they have the red as well as the green. I'll link this down below if you need a Christmas mug. We all need one every year. We all know it, okay? I'm gonna be making my salted caramel hot chocolate in my new Christmassy mug and I cannot wait to show this one to you guys today. Let's get started. All right, guys, first things first, we need to prep our mug with the first dose of our salted caramel. So like I said, we're gonna be using our Jordan Skinny Syrups salted caramel sauce, and we're gonna add a half a tablespoon of this to the bottom of our mug so that it can melt in with our hot water. Perfect, now to assemble our hot chocolate. Allow me to introduce you to our RV coffee station. You can tell who's is whose. I'm an espresso girl. Zach's a regular black coffee type of guy. I'm gonna be using my Nespresso today for this fueling hack. I love using my Nespresso in the mornings and I do also use it for plain hot water. I'll show you guys how I do it. I'm gonna place my mug right here, pop open the top. And online and everywhere I've seen, this is the way to get hot water out of my Nespresso Virtuo next. I just hollowed out one of my pods so that I can stick it right over the top, close it up. And all I have to do now is brew my hot water. Here we go, my hot water is in my mug. Now I'm gonna add my velvety hot chocolate drink mix fueling right over the top. And I'm gonna mix it up with my hand mixer. Last but not least, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my salted caramel whipped cream right over the top, about two tablespoons, and then the last half tablespoon of my salted caramel, then we're gonna be done. delicious velvety hot chocolate with a little salted caramel bite. Let's taste it just to make sure it's good. I'm just telling you, you guys, that salted caramel sauce. I didn't think they could do it. The only one that rivals it was previously the caramel sauce from Walden Farms, but I think they changed the formula on that recently and it's just not the same. This has a little salted bite right over the top, but also tastes like caramely and milky. Like it's not gonna be the typical sugar-free syrup vibe. This is sauce. And this is what makes this entire fueling hack. I need to take another sip. Perfection. I get to have a little whipped cream right on top. Like I'm telling you, you guys, this is about to be your drink of the Christmas season. I cannot wait for you to try this one. This fueling hack is going to count as one fueling and one and a half condiments for your day. Perfect for Christmas tree time. Please let me know if you guys try this one out down in the comments below. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week. And I cannot wait to continue this healthy journey during the holiday season with you. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.